So we are uh, taking two C-17s down to uh, Fairchild Air Force Base where we're going to be picking up some guard equipment, a couple of C-17 loads full of trucks and trailers and a variety of other things, and then bringing them back to Elmendorf where then they're going to catch a ferry out to Valdez. So the scenario is that a, a Russian satellite has uh, fallen out of orbit and landed in the area of Valdez and it's caused some contamination in the area. So we were mobilized and dispatched to support that operation and, and, and help decontaminate and supply medical support to civilian casualties and military personnel that are affected. Airloading the aircraft is uh, extremely difficult because of the, basically the, the, the length and size of our equipment. So our decontamination trailer is hooked up to an F-750. So backing that onto the aircraft requires a lot of uh, shoring and ramps. And because, it, because the decon trailer is so low to the ground, uh, clearance is a huge issue. So Arctic Eagle is, is a scenario based on a re-entry of a satellite that has broken apart and dispersed radioactive material across uh, an area. So here in Valdez, this is where this site is and it um, then allows us to exercise the different HERF elements, the SERP, the CST has also came in, the civil support team, and a medical uh, decon element as well. Uh, to include also a security element with, that was supplied for this exercise uh, with, from a military police unit. So the Knifeth Chemical Company was requested to provide uh, route reconnaissance and area reconnaissance support to ensure that the area that the Joint Task Force and the, uh, the city itself is clear of contamination or if it is, uh, if contamination is identified, we clearly mark where it is so it could be uh, mitigated and uh, safely uh, removed. Once an uh, area is identified to be contaminated, uh, the MUCRV striker 